There are many factors besides calories in determining what foods are best for our bodies. Likely you've heard about incorporating flaxseed and bee pollen to give a super boost, but have you tried chia? Here with more on this wonder seed is registered dietitian Ashley Koff. Ashley, welcome. Great to see you. Thank you. So Ashley, when we think of chia, we usually think of the chia pet of the late night infomercial, right? Correct? Exactly. Is this the Everyone same goes to like chia, chia. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, absolutely. It's actually from a plant called Salvia hispanica. Um, we think like way back with the chia pet, but it's uh, this plant has existed for hundreds of years back and has been part of the diet. And um, the the seed is actually has tremendous nutritional value. Uh, the plant itself is a little bit bitter, right. so it doesn't. It's not really something that we would be consuming. But the seed is rich in fiber, um, in a soluble fiber, as well as in omega fatty acids. Fantastic. And you recently took a trip, went straight to the source to find out more about this seed. Is that right? Yes. There are chia seeds around uh, the world. Um, this particular area where I went was to the northwest, uh, the Kununurra in Australia. Um, and I actually had a lot of questions about how chia is farmed, so I got to sit down with the farmer who started it all there. <laughs> So we're here in the magnificent Kimberley region of Western Australia, which is at the top part of Australia. And this has proven to be the world's best place to grow chia. It's 15 degrees south of the equator, which is required to get the right omega-3 ratio in the oil. And we've got this magnificent dry, warm weather, which is critical as we go with the crop into this flowering phase and then grain ripening. So we've got this fantastic opportunity to grow chia and grow it in such vast numbers and, and area. And that's really allowed us to be able to present it as a product to both the global health food industry but also food manufacturers around the world. It was a vision of mine when I started the industry in Australia to make a positive contribution to the health and well-being of the community. And chia having the omega-3, the dietary fibre, the antioxidants were all nutrients we were lacking in the modern diet. So it's a fantastic natural crop that could introduce all these elements to the diet of Australians and all the world. So really in starting the industry here I was looking to be able to grow the crop in a sustainable way, both environmentally, and these farms are better for chia bean growing here, but also economically. We had to grow the crop, be able to return profit to the farmers so that we could continue to grow this crop for the next 50 years and allow the world to be able to gain the benefits of chia seed. This is chia when it's ripe and ready for harvest. Chia is the plant name, and the genus is Salvia, and the species is Hispanica and it comes in two varieties, two colours, black and white. And this is a black chia. And when we harvest it, we just naturally remove the husk and the shell from the seeds. And there's a seed ready to eat. And there's your daily dose of chia. Fascinating stuff. So, Ashley, is there really a difference between the black and white seeds? No, you know what? I learned there, and you can see as you just sort of look at them in the hand, you, I couldn't even eyeball which plant was a black or white. Um, what you do know is that chia is grown in a number of different places around the world. It grows at 15 degrees north or south of the equator. And so you are going to have differences in the plants based on what part, you know, the Peruvian one perhaps versus the Australian. So there may be like different, you know, you might even look at it like different types of apples. Right. But it's not going to be a different an entirely different species, black to white. And no difference in the nutritional value. No, correct? and I thought I'd actually show you um, one of the reasons that chia is such a potent, uh, um, it, it's so healthy for us, is that the fiber source, actually when you add water to it, so if we're, um, you could certainly add water to it here and drink it this way, but I don't Ooh, recommend it. I don't it. know, it doesn't look um, that appetizing. when you do <laughs> add water to it, you can see how swollen that is. So it's if you almost look at, gelatinous. Yeah, look at how chia seed actually comes out. I'll put a little bit in your hand mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going to be the actual seed, right? And that seed is going to be, it's hard, it's got a casing around it. When you put it into water, or as if we were eating it, and it goes through the digestive tract as the moisture is being absorbed, mm -hmm. it creates this very viscous um, so I'm gonna substance. Put this here. How yeah. much seed is, I mean, how much visually, if we were to look at it, how much seed is in there? This is two of the shots. So okay. it's about two of your daily doses, okay, right? So you've right, got two right, of the right, tablespoons. Right. Um, and what we have in here, so when this goes through, what you can see is versus this, 
this in mm -hmm. the digestive system, this is going to swell. And what we know is that when our belly swell, that's what sends the trigger to our brain to feel full. So one of the things I found in Australia that was so fascinating is they've actually, even to their white bread, but definitely to their whole grain breads, to their muffins, they've been, to adding, other, it. They've been mm -hmm. adding the chia to get that increased fiber. And it doesn't have a taste, correct? It doesn't change the taste of the food. Right. If anything, it changes the consistency, but not in a gritty fiber way. It actually right. adds a moisture and a, a bit of a density. You know? And you so, have a story related to that book, Born to Run, about this drink, Yes. Correct? There was actually um, a gentleman in Mexico, and there's a, a book, uh, Born to Run, out of it, where he was actually consuming this on a daily basis um, to reduce the inflammation throughout his body. And a as glass a, a of chia. With. Exactly. All right. um, and it's something, you know, people say to me, what is chia? I haven't heard of it. It's actually hit our food industry p pretty large. Apparently. Um, look at all yeah, of these Right? You can see. You and, you know, here. some people are doing organic. And what I like about organic is obviously then you don't have any uh, pesticides used. But you might not have the same consistency in every single spoonful. Right. Um, so other places you might see that people are controlling for that more where, you know, if there are weeds or something like that, they've they've gone ahead and sprayed that. And this is just the, the seed that this you would, is you just would the sprinkle seed. it on a right. salad? Or in How this case, in the ground it? portion, this okay. you can add to, uh, to flour. So you can reduce the okay. amount of flour that you're using, add a little bit of this. You'll get that that fiber, you'll get that texture Fantastic added in. Fantastic idea. Yeah. Other and than the, that, the seed, the seed can be sprinkled on yogurts and things like that? Exactly. Kind of? okay. You could absolutely do that. You will notice, at least I did, that you can get it a little bit through the teeth through <laughs> there. Your so it's like your you're toothpick be careful handy. on that That's part. Right. You That's have right. shots that you can just sprinkle onto a salad. And if you want to go ahead and taste what it's sure. like, it's even in one of our energy bars. Oh, absolutely. Mm. Mm. That's a delicious energy bar. I don't taste anything. The you wouldn't screens. know the chia yeah. was in there, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, and one of the things we're seeing also is chia is being added, uh, salva in specific is being added to baby food. So it's a really? way to increase the fiber, increase the omega content of the baby food as well. And what about this chia oil? Chia oil, so just like a flaxseed oil or mm -hmm. hemp seed or another oil, the, the specific, the omega fatty acid, you're able to isolate that. This is a vegetarian source of the omega-3. So you can then drizzle that on your salad. You could drizzle that on your bread, you know, maybe in place of olive oil or and something again, like that. No taste? What is the this oil? This is gonna give like? you the oil to me tastes um, similar to another nut or seed okay. oil. Yeah, it's oh. not going to be as tasty as strong of a taste as maybe a walnut oil, but I would compare it to a flaxseed oil. Delicious. Now these yeah. are chia shots. So you said this is your daily allowance. That's your daily dose. Can you just down it or you you could, but remember what's gonna happen. So yeah. if, you, if you try to toss it back like that, you um, I would definitely say drink a bit of water and you, you might notice um, you know I, I find that you digest <laughs> beautifully with that I think with what I think is great about this is I travel so much so I actually keep one of those in my purse and or spread a couple. it out through the day yeah if I'm getting a salad out somewhere and I go oh sh there you know there might not be a lot of great fatty acids or fiber you know in this and I can sprinkle it on there and I know I've upgraded my nutrition for that particular have meal have you noticed any since you've started adding chia to your diet have you noticed any difference um you know I wouldn't say I, I've, I do a good job of incorporating a lot of different fatty acids what I would probably have noticed the most is that I like the variety it's something right. new so, yeah, you know, sure. I think we're always looking for that new thing to add in. And it's even in sweets, yeah. too. Right, I mean, absolutely. It's certainly popping absolutely. up everywhere. All yeah. right, Ashley Koff, thank you so much for that. Thanks. And you can check out ashleykoffapproved.com for more healthy alternatives. And remember to visit our abcnews.com health page.